Allegro provides viability-based debt financing to companies in the early stage, so early stage enterprises, with a turnover of less than 50 crore rupees. How strong is the demand? What is the business model behind Intelligro? And how is this going to change the way social enterprises operate in India? I'm going to pose those questions to Sanjeev Jha, who's Chief Executive Officer at Intelligro. Thanks very much for your time. This is, if I may call it that, and I'm an, I, I'm an outsider, but a relatively new business model. You know, where does Intelligro stand today and what is the future, immediate future that you see? Whether it's portfolio size or just the uh, demand uh, that you sense out there. Sure. Uh, so Intelligro, as you know, is a venture debt uh, uh, company. And the way we define venture debt is basically we give money to early stage companies. And it's a subsidiary of Intellicap and Intellicap has been uh, dealing with those early stage companies since almost a decade now. And uh, so we see the demand actually, uh, if I look at the overall demand, it's probably 26 trillion INR in India itself. Uh, that's the credit gap that has been analyzed by Intellicap and IFC about a year back. But if you look about the social enterprises, the demand is probably slightly lesser than 26 trillion uh, INR. Uh, we do not know the actual size, but we believe that uh, what Intelligro is currently uh, doing, it's an extremely risky business, and uh, uh, the demand should not be anything less than half of that 26 trillion INR that we are talking about, because the spaces that we operate is education, affordable housing, uh, healthcare, clean energy, um, then uh, water and sanitation non-credit financial inclusion. When I say non-credit, I don't include microfinance in that. So overall, the demand should be closer to between 10 to 12 INR, a trillion INR in India itself. Okay. Uh, Intelligro is about 15 months old now. Yes. Uh, we started uh, from seed funding from Intellicap. Mm. We raised our first capital in February this year from MSDF. Uh, yes. We are Which is the Michael and Susan Dell Michael Foundation for Dell those Foundation. who may not yes, know. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so we are a 26 crore committed capital company as of now. Mm. We are also trying to leverage our balance sheet. We believe that we'll be about 50 crores odd by end of May uh, in terms of overall balance sheet strength. We have given uh, loans to about 25 companies in the last 15 months. Uh, and our typical loan sizes has been uh, between uh, 40 lakhs to 2.25 crores. Uh, we see that the, the upper circuit that is 2.25 crores to grow closer to 4 crores over a period of one year. Um, but we don't think that we will be uh, doing loans lesser than 30 lakhs uh, at least in the next five, seven years uh, horizon. So, you know, I started out by saying that there must be so much demand. Right. So, really, it's, it's a matter of your own capacity to, right. uh, to step in. You've made an important start. But the model, as you admitted yourself, is kind of risky. Right. How do you deal with that risk? I mean, what what is going to be a risk hedge going forward? Sure. So the way we try to evaluate businesses is no different from any other uh, uh, VC fund or a seed fund, you know. Uh, for us, three things are extremely important. So we have done uh, loans to companies which are loss making as well. Uh, for us, uh, uh, those are not important criteria, whether you're profitable, whether the promoters or the entrepreneurs running the business they have huge assets on their personal side or not. Those are not important. The three important things for us, and that's the essential filter, and it has to be really ticked on all the three checkboxes. The entrepreneur himself. Uh, so he has to be really an entrepreneur. I mean, uh, we have seen several entrepreneurs in the past, but uh, to, to really uh, gauge through and understand that entrepreneur is extremely important, whether he has the ability to take, pull that business from a level to the next level. Sure. Our role is primarily to handhold those companies to the bank. You know. We don't see our role beyond that. Uh, so will that entrepreneur be able to take its company from the stage in which it has approached us to the level of bank, which is basically above 50 crores, three years profitable track record, and so on and so forth, the, which are the normal requirements of banks. So entrepreneur is extremely important. And that is how other VC funds also evaluate. They actually bet on the person, right? Exactly. Uh, the second thing which is important is the viability of the business. So we will not lend to companies which are uh, essentially commoditized business. You know, they have to be unique, something unique in that business, something very different. Uh, we have done deals in the, uh, the 25 deals that I've mentioned uh, is all across the five, six sectors that we operate. And uh, 
we have lot there are a lot of deal flows i mean i must tell you at this point in time sometimes it becomes difficult to really pick and choose but uh, since we are a small capital at this point in time that acts as an actual yeah. filter <laughs> yeah absolute filter so the viability of the business is extremely important and whether the business has the capability is the industry in itself growing whether the entrepreneur and the team can grow along with the industry uh, so that is that is what we that is the second criteria that we filter and third the business model is that the money has to come from cash flows not from the fund flows okay. fund flow here i mean basically capital infusion in that company yeah. so for us the analysis of the cash flow is extremely important okay. so we when the com when the companies approach us they present a projected cash flow we just immediately do a 70% 50% to 70% uh, focus on the cash flow yeah, analysis focus on the cash flow and basically we reduce so whatever they are projected we reduce by 50 70% and then still see if the money can come back to us So normally the tenure is you know nine months to two years three years. So within that period, if the money is coming back, we'll give the money. Okay, uh, you know, uh, one simple measure of the risk out there is defaults. And have you experienced anything Not on that? Not a single run? default. No. So is that really reassuring? Is that the message that you want to send out? I want to definitely send that message. That uh, see, it also the three fi filters that I mentioned and are critical. Are to, critical. Yeah. And uh, since the. all our loans are uncollateralized except for few which we have actually given to startups uh two startups we have actually uh, lent uh, earlier and uh, since there was no business and there was no company incorporated so we gave the money to the entrepreneur virtually he wrote the check and we said that and hence the need for collateral uh, and hence the need for collaterals otherwise we have not actually taken any collaterals uh so so when we are filtering through these three uh, it extremely becomes important to ensure that we will not touch some companies which we believe may not uh, you know will be able to pay or we basically give them some time we say that i don't think you are at a position to take loan now maybe 6 months nine nine months down the line so there has been no defaults and it's actually reassuring to us and we believe that this trend will continue okay well i guess one can say you've got an exciting journey ahead but many more mountains uh, sure. to sort of scale because this is an important but at this stage a modest start given the sense you've outlined of the demand out there sanjeev jha thanks very much for your time